The Evolution and Aftermath of American Chopper, a look at the main cast since 2012. American Chopper, a groundbreaking reality TV show that aired from 2003 to 2010, provided viewers with an inside look at Orange County Choppers and the dynamics within the Tootle family. The intense relationships, custom bike builds, and heated arguments made it a cultural phenomenon. Since the show's end, the main cast members, including Paul Tootle Sr., Paul Tootle Jr., Mikey Tootle, and others, have taken diverse paths. This article explores the journey of the key personalities post-2012 and reflects on the legacy of American Chopper. Paul Tootle Sr. Navigating Business Challenges and Relocation After the cancellation of American Chopper, Paul Sr. faced financial troubles, legal disputes with a business partner, and ultimately filed for bankruptcy in 2018. He moved to Florida, rebranded Orange County Choppers, and opened the OCC Roadhouse and Museum. Despite controversies, he continued working on motorcycles and promoting his business. Paul Tootle Jr. Entrepreneurship and Electric Bikes Paul Jr. left OCC in 2009 and founded Paul Jr. Designs a custom bike shop. He ventured into diverse projects, including collaborating with Blizzard Entertainment on Ezeroth Choppers and creating bikes for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In recent years, Paul Jr. has embraced electric bikes, establishing PJD Electric, and continuing his passion for motorbike racing. Mikey Tutul, Overcoming Personal Struggles and Entrepreneurship Mikey Tutul, known for bringing humor to American Chopper, faced personal challenges and left OCC to work on self-improvement. After rehab, he opened an art studio and launched FarQ LLC, offering pasta sauces. Mikey hosts a weekly show with Al Franco, reflecting on their lives and experiences, maintaining a strong bond with former OCC colleagues. Vinny DiMartino, a journey from OCC to entrepreneurship. Vinny left OCC in 2007, founded V-Force Customs, and later DiMartino Motorsports. He worked with Paul Jr. at PJD, contributed to American Chopper, Senior vs. Jr., and collaborated with Damasteel, creating unique knives and wedding bands. Vinny's passion for motorcycles remains evident through his endeavors. Rick Petko, forging success beyond OCC. Rick Petko continued working with Paul Sr. even after Paul Jr.'s departure. His wedding was attended by both two tools, showcasing lasting friendships. Post OCC, Rick serves as the headmaker for Pocono Mountain Harley Davidson, operates RPD and Co., and creates one-of-a-kind knives and wedding bands. Cody Connolly, Legal Battles and Career Transition Cody, a fan favorite, left OCC in 2007 and filed a lawsuit against Orange County Choppers, citing inadequate compensation for his work and image usage. Despite legal challenges, Cody transitioned to working for a utility company, distancing himself from social media interactions. Mike Rowe, Diverse Ventures Beyond American Chopper Mike Rowe, the show's announcer until 2010, expanded his career with shows like Dirty Jobs, Deadliest Catch, and Returning the Favor. A supporter of trade unions, Roe engages in whiskey making, hosts The Story Behind the Story, and resides in San Francisco. Kevin Pohl and Jim Pratt, post-show pursuits. Jason Pohl, known for his artistic contributions, pursued industrial design and became a brand associate for SolidWorks. Jim Pratt, the post-2012 host, continued his career as a radio host for Bob Hart's Abishola after working on various TV projects. The legacy of American Chopper extends beyond its on-screen drama, with cast members embarking on diverse journeys. From business challenges and legal disputes to entrepreneurial ventures, each member has forged a unique path post-2012. While the show might not have a current revival, the enduring impact of American Chopper lives on through the continued pursuits of its main cast.